Uh, you, John, you can, you and I can sit in a coach seat, but it ain't comfortable. Don't like it. Well, you put Andre in a first class seat on a 14 hour flight. That's like, you know, that's like us sitting in coach. He's not comfortable. And uh, so anyway, we, we go with it. We go to Tokyo and, you know, 14 hours and then it's another hour into the city and you, you know, and so everybody was going to freshen up, you know, we're going to meet in the lobby and go out and eat and you stay awake as late as you can the first night. Cause if you don't, you're going to be asleep at two o'clock in the afternoon. And so uh, I remember I hit the elevator button, the door opens and there's Andre. Hey boss, let's go eat. So we start down and this elevator stops at virtually every other floor. Now, three stops ago, you and I would have said, this elevator's full, get the next one. <laughs> Not in Japan. Mm -hmm. I mean, they pack them in in Japan. I mean, the whole country is the size of the state of California. And of that land mass, uh, three quarters of it is uninhabitable mountains. But the population of Japan is that, about half that of the United States. So they stack them in, man. And so anyway, Andre reaches over and just gives me a little tap on the shoulder. And I looked up at him and he winked. I said, okay, uh -huh. something's, something's going to happen here. Well, buddy, that the next thing you heard was the loudest, longest fart <laughs> that I have ever heard in my life. I remember thinking, I'm I'm, I'm I'm staring straight ahead, both, both, you know, biting a hole in my lip. And I said, I know it's the giant, but how much, how could any human possibly have that much air in their body? And I could just picture the poor Japanese guy that's standing directly behind him, getting it right <laughs> in the face. But I'm going to tell you what, when the <laughs> elevator door opened again, <laughs> it was like the exodus. They were tripping over each other to get out the door. And they were all, you know, well, they had to be cussing the big guy. You know, because they, you know, they obviously, you know, they, they weren't very happy. But as the doors closed, it was just me and Andre. And all you could hear was, oh, 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 <laughs> that big laugh of his. And he looked down at me and he says, I guess they won't crowd the big man anymore, will they? <laughs> <laughs>